Welcome back, YouTube. So I'm making this video because we have a lot of signals flashing here um, for Bitcoin, for Doge, and even in the charts that compare the two. Um, we have some retesting going on here across the market. Uh, as you know, uh, stock, the stock market and crypto, they all receive a, um, a bump here uh, from the news of the Fed's dropping rates. You know, we got the, um, the 0.50 versus the 0.25. And so that may even have a potential here smoothing out um, quadruple witching here. Obviously, we'll see going into uh, the next week here um, is any of the adjustments and stuff that are made. And if we'll have that uh, period of confusion and sell off. But overall, the pressure from the, the buying that's been coming in and repositioning of, and the bullishness coming into the market has been enough to do some testing here to the uh, to the upside. We've seen a lot of money come into the stock market and the crypto market alike. And we are threatening here to have some reversals and even some signals here between, especially between the 14 and the 72. Now, over the last few months, we'll see, this is the Doge Bitcoin comparison. So I'll uh, just think this so you know, if you're trying to try along with me, uh, this is the Doge Bitcoin comparison. You'll see typically there's a, relationship between doge bitcoin and the 14 day that's this yellow line you see on the um, the screen here now you'll also see the 14 and the 72 has been very prominent now typically the movement and the relationship between these two are, are, are moving quick a lot faster than the 200 day so you don't necessarily see a lot of um, like rejections or a trend line something similar to what you would see on uh, smaller time frames if you look at these uh, these coins individually, but you will see that the relationship between the 14 day is it's almost I would say almost like a marriage, right? You can look anywhere here, you're going to see this trend line somewhere around the 14 day. So when we have these green spikes here, the where this is where things get interesting because if you look back, this is one of the things I like looking at and why I like using these moving averages. If you're looking at like golden crosses and things like that, you'll see that the whenever we have these signals here it rarely if ever does a pump fake where you'll have these crosses and they mean absolutely nothing and it's not a, a tick to the upside right now we've maintained that relationship since we've came down since um what's it was the last time we had that uh, those death crosses had one back here in may and the other in june but for the most part, even when we uh, had these drops down, we we had the, the we got the bounce here, got some strong rejections from the downside, and we maintained that relationship with the 14 day. So what we're watching right now is these these green candles that are coming in and this retesting of the 14, right? Because retesting above the 14 puts you in position here to get this crosser between the 72. The 72 is this orange line, and as you can see, they are relatively close, which means that for the last couple of months 72 days a little bit more than a couple of months but for the most part the 14 has been pretty flat right we haven't seen it hasn't been declining rapidly to the point where there's a large gap between the 72 and the 14 so this is why you have this narrowing right here so this is something that we're going to be watching over the next week or so or really just over the next few days just because we can get this spike up long before we get a um um across here to get kind of confirmation but obviously we can monitor that on a daily basis so that's something we're going to be watching here now that we're having some uh some positive action here and with them being so narrow that's something we want to keep an eye on on the 14 and the uh, the 72 for the doge bitcoin comparison now if we're just looking at right, let's look at bitcoin because i think that's going to be uh very telling as well these bitch stamp so <clears throat> this is very telling here. This is one of the reasons why we're getting a lot of the movement. There's a lot of money flowing into Bitcoin to the point where Bitcoin is rejecting several times off of the 200 day moving average. Now, remember, I said that on the Doge Bitcoin comparison, it doesn't have typically that relationship with the, uh, the 200 day because it's more so tracking the 14 day and it's moving around a lot more. But on an individual basis, that's not the case. So. The 200 day, which and historically buying Bitcoin below the 200 day has always proved to be lucrative, especially um, going into what we believe um, the bull cycle and um, starting in like Q4, going to Q1. If we're looking at some historical averages, by the way, Q1 starts October 1st, excuse me, Q4 
and going into Q1, but Q4 starts uh, October 1st. Uh, so we have a, a couple of weeks for that. But what we're doing here is we're, we're rejecting off of the 200 day. Now, this can be extremely, extremely bullish for the entire crypto market, because what we can see here is two consecutive signals here for, for a bull run, right? So this is the 14 day. We have this aggressive curve here, obviously, because we're on a run, a green run where we're closing at higher highs every day. And what we can see is two consecutive crosses here, 1472, 14200. And this could be the signal that's going to have us break above that all time high and send us above that 73K here and signal, you know, technically the, the, the run here. Um, uh, any obviously macro events um, willing that there's nothing uh, coming as far as from the macro. But looking at this here, this setup looks really promising. Uh, this is something that I'm going to be looking for. That's why I tell the video breakouts loading because we have signals literally everywhere saying that this can be um, the, the the beginning of what everyone's been waiting for. So we're in a great position here. Aggressive um, curve here. This is kind of like a, the 14 days acting like a bowl. This is the ye yellow line here so I'm starting roughly around what September 4th. And it literally just kind of caught the price action. It went from the 72 reject it back down to like the bottom of the bowl and literally just bounce back up and literally flew past the 72. And now it's uh, knocking on the door of the 200 here. So these are some very strong signals that we can look at um, to see, you know, if this is going to be the one that gets us to kind of break out because we've seen tests here that signaled these runs. Um, like, so I mean, if we're looking at like back in May, we had the cross here, then we went up to do a retest. And then we had the, uh, the cross here again was this July 18th, and then we went up to do a retest. But we we, did, we haven't had the, the opportunity even back here. Um, I want to say when we had this initial run up back on what February 6th, we had the cross, and then we had this this big run up that was a big signal. But we have we haven't been in a situation where we've had the potential to have two consecutive crosses, right? Because typically the 200 day. As, as obviously it's a, a lagging indicator compared to the other uh, time frames, excuse me, the other moving averages that we're using. So typically it, it's a mile apart, but now we have this great consolidation where Bitcoin has been in this uh, top fib level for so long. Now we have all three indicators in the same level, right? Similar to what we're looking at the Doge Bitcoin comparison, they're very close here. So now we have the potential here to get like a really strong idea what that next movement is going to be and uh, the signal here for um, this bull run. We have this great consolidation between these three moving averages. So th this is going to be really interesting to see um, how everything is going to play out going forward. Uh, looking at Doge. Let's go by next. Very similar. Um, more, I'll say more similar to uh, the price action between the Doge Bitcoin comparison. Um, you'll see that we are roughly at the 72 day. Same thing here, a curve here from the 14. And we have that potential to um, have this cross between the 14 and 72. But obviously, we've had some consecutive green days here. So still charting that bullish pattern, uh, similar to Bitcoin, not as aggressive, obviously, but uh, still charting that bullish um, pattern here to the upside and potentially giving us that cross. Um, the 200 day is obviously still above where we are now so because we haven't consolidated um in this zone for as long as bitcoin has so we don't have that it it, it is consolidating but it's not uh as narrow but um we can certainly have these signals here because we know that in this particular zone the last time we had these runs uh, it's not difficult for for doge to come up and uh, get this signal as well with the 200 you can take a look at Back in July, July 24th, we've seen that type of price action where we were able to come up and surpass the 200. And then even here, even though we're above the 200 day, you can see the price action that that would have been more than enough to, um, to you know, if we're kind of like flipping the scale here, that would have been more than enough to cross the 200 day moving average. So we've seen the capability of uh, this happening here in this zone multiple times. I think what we're waiting for as far as for liquidity to flow into the market, not just those, but in the top 10 alike, it's going to be um, resting on these signals that we get from Bitcoin and these breakouts and the confirmation uh, that it's going to uh, give us when it's able to decide what's going to happen with that 200 day moving average. And if we're going to go um, above it, because the 200 day moving average in Bitcoin, you can say whatever you want, but 
Bitcoin breaking above a 200 day moving average is certainly a bullish signal, right? That that is just breaking below it is obviously bearish, but maintaining your top fib level and breaking above the 200 day again, that is a bullish signal, right? Um, especially if, if you did that while we're maintaining your top fib level the entire time. So this is one of the reasons why I said I didn't believe it was over and I didn't believe that <clears throat> I, I didn't believe that the um, the bull run was over just because we had an early run and a consolidation. And it didn't just happen um, like the anomaly that we thought it was going to happen uh, earlier this year. It's moving more toward a uh, historic trend. So um, speaking on the historic trend, that's typically going to be Q4 going into Q1. So right now, things are positioning themselves to kind of align with um, with with history. So obviously, this is something we're going to monitor going forward. Uh, this is why I titled the video breakout loading, uh, breakouts are loading. So um, let me know what you think. Uh, let me know if you believe that the, we have some breakouts loading um, across the board here. And we're, we're about to see a lot of liquidity come into the market. Love to hear from you guys. Please consider subscribing to the channel if you have not. I appreciate all of you and I will see you guys in the next video. <music>